Hey, what's up, everybody? Sean Devine. Today, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to program your transport controls on your MIDI controller to use within Logic X. I had some trouble figuring this out, so hopefully this will help someone out there. But um, specifically, we're going to be programming the rewind, fast forward, stop, play, and record buttons. And these are going to be set up the same way for any controller. Um, within Logic. So the first thing you want to do is on your controller, I don't know if you can see the screen here, but uh, on your MIDI controller you want to make sure that your transport buttons are transmitting the type MMC slash MIDI. Uh, that's what Logic X needs in order to work properly. That'll be different for uh, Cubase. I think Cubase is MIDI CC, but um, for Logic X it's MMC slash MIDI. So set that first. And then once that's set up, you're going to notice that right now transport buttons don't work. And that's how it'll be when you first open Logic. Um, so there's two ways that we can program in our transport buttons. I'm going to show you the first way, which is the way that I've been using. And that is to go to Project Settings, click Synchronization, and then you're going to click on this MIDI tab. And under Transmit MIDI Clock, go ahead and check Destination 1. And then select the main port for your MIDI controller. In my case, that is MPK port A. And then I'm going to go down here to the MIDI Machine Control settings. And I'm going to click Listen to MMC Input. So once that's done, I should be able to control Logic with my transport buttons on my controller. So I can hit stop, fast forward. And seems to be working pretty good. So let's say, you know, I want to hit record. Yep, so uh, all that's working great. And so we're set up to use the transport buttons in Logic X. The other way to do it to make it more permanent would be to program key commands. So you can do it this way too. And those are going to be under global commands. And then you can just search for them. And you can program them this way by just, um, let's say we want to do play. We can just do a uh, learn new assignment. Hope this helps. Again, I had some trouble finding where to set this up. But um, this should get you started using transport controls in Logic X.